Hey up guys, Aaron here and I'm bringing you another Medieval Engineers video and this time I'm looking at chains, um, sort of chain, oh, blah, 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 like bridges, proper bridges that actually flex, that are made up of segments. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how I've made them first, then I will show you the end product. So. The way that I lay them out is as, so, as such, so you need to start off with a dynamic object. I'll do a small one, like literally just, it'll be literally a tiny, tiny bridge. But you just, you copy it to make it longer, obviously. So let's say that's how wide I want the bridge. You need and some of these, so you put these next to each other like that, then you have a gap, and then you put another two next to each other, like this. So these are now connected. The two catch blocks there are connected to each other. Then there's a gap, so they're separate, and these these two attach to each other. And then what we do is we add these poles in between. So something like can it, right there. one there, one there. Right. So that doesn't quite work. What I'm going to have to do is. This, honestly, it's such a fiddly way of doing it, but when it works, it works really well and it's really, really awesome. So, let's try this again. One there, one that there, one there, one there. So, drag across like that, they're now both connected. So now this catch block and that catch block are connected to each other. And then we do that, and then we do that, that. So those, these catch blocks are connected to each other, and then these catch blocks are connected to each other, but through a hinge. And then when we remove all of this underneath, oh, just make sure that I'm not accidentally deleting stuff that I want to keep. So there now, um, that's like a little bridge. Um, and what I do is I just do that on a large scale, like I've done here, and I've put some of these hooks on the end, so they hook over some poles when I want to form the bridge, and then what I've done is filled in these gaps here, so you see these bars that go across, I attach planks like this, but all the way along there, so it ends up like this, and this is the end product after deleting the under, underlying bit of wood there, that's just to support it, and this is an actual functioning bridge, it actually bends, twists, um, and what I've done is then copied it and then pasted it up here and you'll see the end result which I am very 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 happy with it took this has taken me quite a while to get to work we actually have a proper bridge like you know functioning it, you can actually walk across it I need to create a bit of a step to get up on there but you can actually walk across it the bridge does actually sort of move which is really cool. However, because because of player movement, I can literally push the bridge into weird shapes, which is a bit a bit annoying. Um, like that. Let's see, it uh, yeah, it's uh, it works, but because of the way that players move, you know, like where you, it's almost like if I'm walking down here and I walk forward, I don't start walking upwards. I start walking through stuff, and it starts to break it. So. It's almost like the players weigh a huge amount, or they've got a t too much strength, and they just push through things. But it does act; it looks cool, and it's fully functional, and it flows and stuff. I even attach some ropes to these centre pieces to, to support it. But because the way that the ropes work at the moment, um, like I said in another video, the ropes sort of act like uh, well, they don't even act like ropes to be honest. If you if you had a, a fixed length of rope between two points and you push the two points together the rope permanently becomes shorter um, so when I put one rope from there to there and that lifts up it's now permanently lifted up because the rope between there and there has become shorter permanently unless attached to a rope drum uh, and even then the rope drums don't work properly so I look forward to when they've got the, the rope fixed and working properly because then it'll probably it'll be, I'll be able to support this um, properly but yes, I am very happy with the way this bridge turned out, and I will be using this more often. Um, 
the nice thing about it as well is it's, you could also have it so that you can break a section of it and then it separates the bridge so I could have this tower separated from the rest of the castle. Um, I was also planning on having some of those like between maybe there and there at an angle and that'll work as well. Could do all sorts with this bridge. Could even make some chains so it looks like I've got chains holding buildings together or buildings to the mountains. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. I don't think I've actually seen anybody do a a bridge before, so I could well be the first person to make a proper functional bridge in Medieval Engineers. If anybody else has come up with any designs, I'd, uh, feel free to post in the comment section or you know, put something on the forum so everybody can see how you've done your bridges, but I am very, 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 very happy with this, uh, the way this bridge turned out. Um, I hope you've got some ideas now. You can maybe go away and make your own bridge and, uh, I don't know, make some, make, make some awesome things. You could, you could even make it so that the, uh, the bridge in section, you can have like a section here, some posts, a small platform, and then another bridge and have it keep going like that. Um, oh, you could do all sorts with it, really. You could make it really, really wide. You could make them thinner and use them as, like, chains. Um, you could maybe have a, um, like a, uh, you could use them as, a, like, a chain, as in, like, on a chainsaw, like, that kind of a belt. So you could have, like, a big cog and you could have these going over and around like that and you could actually have, make, like, some sort of conveyor belt. In fact, <laughs> that's what I'm going to try next. Possibly, you know, it depends on how uh, how my testing goes. Because if if it, at the moment it's not quite possible, then I might have to leave it for now. But uh, yeah, I just thought you'd find that uh, that interesting. The way I make it is, I'm, I put down a f first. The first thing I put down is a dynamic log, timber, you know, that sort of thing. And then I build everything on that one dynamic block, and I make it all so it's all solid and it's all rigid and stuck together. And then, you, when you, and then when you've got this end, uh, this end product here, after deleting all of that, this is just fully functional. I can literally just copy this and, like, uh, if I go like this, you'll see that it does actually. Actually work properly. And it all folds up and everything. It's brilliant. Love it. It's great. Very, very, very happy. Very, very, very happy. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video guys, feel free to like and subscribe for more Medieval Engineers videos, uh, and I'll catch you guys later, bye! Yee.